Hey, what's up guys? It's Barbara Bote and I'm back with another video. This one's going to be a little bit different for me. I have yet to do a fashion video. So this video is going to be a vacation haul on all of the new things I got. Um, if you did not know, I went to Mexico last month and I bought a whole bunch of new things. So I went ahead and tried them on for you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. I'll leave my name right here. So you can go ahead and follow me there and you can see me you can see pictures of um you know when i was on my vacation so if you guys want to see this video this haul just keep on watching all right guys so the first thing i have is from fashion nova and a lot of these items um they're not going to look like anything when i um have them in my hand so you'll just need to see the try on portion it looks like this <laughs> doesn't look like anything it has like panels of slits just you really just have to see it and I got a size large by the way but I definitely could have went with a medium um, the material is pretty good it's pretty thick um, it goes down to all the way down to my ankles um, and for reference I forgot to say this and for reference I'm five seven and I wear a size eight US size 8 and also a size medium. You can't wear a bra with this at all just because the way it's cut there's no way you'll wear a bra. Um, so what I did when I wore it on vacation is I taped my boobs. If you don't know what I mean by that go look that up somewhere because now what this video is about. The boob part is just not secure and it's not secure enough like look at it. Also, it has some buttons to button at the neck part. The second dress I tried on is from Hot Miami Styles. I got it in a size large and I definitely should have gotten a medium. It's very um, big at the back portion. It is, um, it is a high-low dress. It goes high in the front and then um, lower in the back. Um, it has cutouts um, at the boob area, um, at the waist area. It is like a floral chiffon fabric. It's so gorgeous and very perfect for, ideal for vacation. Um, the only thing with this dress, um, the boob part, look at the boob part, y'all. <laughs> if you don't have like eight cups or um, like silicone boobs or fake boobs, your boobs are you're gonna be showing a lot of boobs I'm, I'm just letting you know so that's the boob part y'all and you cannot wear a bra with it so I did not wear a bra with it I didn't wear a bra no tape I just stuffed, stuffed those joints in there because I really like the dress like but actually since my boobs I guess are so heavy the this um bra part is starting to rip Okay, so the next item I got is also from Hot, Hot Miami Styles. It is a two-piece dress. It is, um, just comes like this. <clears throat> this is the bra part of it. <clears throat> the top part of it. It has, like, gold zipper. Um, and then it has, like... It actually has like like underwire of some sorts on either side of the boob part. So yeah, the material is pretty thick. Um, I got it in a size medium, and um, I would say it fits perfectly. I wish the top was a little bit bigger, but that's just the name of the game when you have a bigger chest. The skirt fix fits perfect perfectly. It's also a medium. It doesn't have the gold zipper, but it just has the fuchsia-ish um, zipper. It's really long. Again, I'm 5'7". It goes all the way down to my feet. If you're wearing heels, you'll be fine. Um, it has a slit um, that really just takes the outfit like to the next le level. You know, it has that slit right here. But the price, I was like, really, 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 really. It was um, $89.99, I believe, or $90. <clears throat> So that's not, that's one thing about fashion, not fashion, about Hot Miami Styles. Their their stuff is really overpriced, and these 
and it's not like up to the up to par for it to be ninety dollars you know what i'm saying next thing i have is just a simple tan uh, dress that i actually got from rainbow yeah couldn't have been that much i don't really remember the price but probably like 20 bucks um it has like this thick material with these little ridges on it and then it has these this cutout detail in the boob part and then it has a small slit in the back very tiny slit it's about past my knees i believe and then it has the spaghetti straps and then you can adjust the straps here this one right here is also a rainbow dress it's just it kind of like a tie-dye um, detail I actually have the tag on it still because I never wore it um, it was only 10 bucks it has the cutouts on either side but the only thing about this is that the length is super weird it doesn't even reach my ankles it's a weird length like I wish I could like cut it and like just make it short or like do something with it but I'll see um, it has slits on both sides to slits right here slit right here the next one I have is from Fashion Nova again and I really 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 like Fashion Nova like their stuff is super trendy super affordable and like it's funny because you would see some of the stuff that's on Hot Miami sales on Fashion Nova for like a fraction of the cost so I really like them this dress I really liked this dress a lot it's like a maxi dress and it's similar to the last one that it has the cutout details at the side except these cutouts are a little bit bigger um, it has um, no back to it no back and then it has like the halter top that you tie it around your neck and it's very um, pretty long and then it has the slits on either wait yeah yeah it has slits on either side and you could definitely wear a bra with this one like a strapless yeah okay so this is from misguided it is a jean romper it looks super wrinkly right now but um once it, it's on it's not um it's a really really cute jean romper i got it it's pretty short on me as well i got it in a size 10 because i was really afraid that the boob part wouldn't close right here but i love i love it, it it's a little it's a little um big but i usually would have gotten a size 8 but i'm happy i got the i got the 10 because since it's so short on me um it has that cutout detail right here in the middle um and it has pockets on the side the silver buttons and it's just really cute like maybe for a cookout or or just a casual day on your vacation next thing i have is another two-piece set this one is from fashion nova um it is like the tie-dye material once again but this one is like an orange um orange and navy with white in it um the top part has it's like a crop top and it has a um, hood to it. Um, I saw on their website that they actually have the flared pants version of that. And I really like those actually better than these. These kind of go in. They have the um, stretchiness to go in. It's kind of more like a legging. Um, the material on this is really thin. So be aware of that. It's really thin. Um, I actually poked a hole in the pants with my nail. You just get what you get for this price for this one. I got a dashiki. I got the um, cardigan kind. Um, mine is orange and it's very, pretty long. It goes like down, mm, like mid, like mid thigh, close to my knee. They fit very, very, very big. So I don't really see, and it's like one size fits all. And it's huge on me, so I'm not sure how it works with like super tiny people. Their name is dashiki pride. I went through it with Zashiki Pride, y'all. They took so long to ship it to me, first of all, and send me my tracking information. Like, they took, like, 
a long time to send me my tracking information. When they finally sent it, um, they missed part of my order. Because I, I ordered a, a kid's dashi cube as well. So I can give to my godson. So I was just like, I just hit them up on Instagram and and they said that they would, you know, fulfill the rest of my order or whatever. But then they took another week to, you know, send me that tracking information. And then when they they finally did send the, the kids dashiki. Um, the next clothing item I got is this top right here. It's from Windsor. I absolutely love Windsor. Like they have like the best skirts and like flowy dresses. I love Windsor. Um, I had a little mishap with this because it's actually supposed to be connected to the top like this. Like this one is, this sleeve. But it kind of, kind of ripped it. But I still love this top. The ruffles on the sleeves. Yeah. My shorts. Um, I got these shorts from Rainbow actually. Really cheap. I feel, probably like 10 bucks or whatever. Um, I got them in like a, a large I believe. So they could fit oversized. And I like them. <laughs> This one is a super, 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 super cute bathing suit that I got from Be Fine, but they're pretty on the expensive side. Um, bathing suits. Um, this one was on sale, which is why I got it. It was sixty-four dollars for these the two parts. The bra part um, did come with like the padding in it. I took it out because I don't need a padding. It's cute. It's really stringy, like. There's strings that come right here. Two strings come right here. And then two strings go under your boob. Um, and the neon and pink looks really cute together. The bottoms um, are like... It kind of reminds me like of like a brief bottom. But then the sides are cut really far in. And, and it's high-waisted as well. The size I got is medium. I mean, the top doesn't fit me at all. But I still wore it. But I didn't even clasp the back because I didn't just just didn't feel like doing all that but yeah the next one I have is from ASOS because ASOS has a fuller bust collection um so you get um double D and up yeah double D and up like it goes like really high like to like I or something the size of this cup is a a US 34i. Like the boob part has a lot of um, a lot of a lot of coverage for a big boob girl, and you can remove the straps if you want. The bottoms are a US size eight. It's like cut pretty low, and then um, it has a mesh um, thing that goes under your boobs, and you tie it in the back. And these are mismatched, so you don't necessarily get these together you buy them separately the bottoms are high waist and it has the mesh on the sides the only thing is I ripped I ripped the mesh no my only problem with this one is that the straps come off randomly just because they don't they don't they don't want to stay in the little hook um, after washing this the underwear kind of started coming out randomly yeah so the next one i got is also from asos it's the only one that is not um high waist it is like a grayish taupe color it has fringe detail that goes down near down your stomach and then the top is a halter and you uh tie it behind your neck and what's good about this one is you can tie it as tight as you want to get more support in the boob area. The material on this one is really good. The, it's really super, super, super thick. The size I got is a US 32H. And when you see like, you hear these big cup sizes, like for bathing suits, it's a little different. Just because it says an H doesn't mean you're gonna get a lot of coverage, so. And the bottoms. The bottoms are nice as well, but it's not a lot to them. <laughs> they are pretty, like, small and cheeky. And they're low rise for some odd reason. I got a US size 8. So, um, it has the same 
French. You're most likely going to show some butt crack in these. I would say size up in these. If you have a big booty, definitely size up. I don't, so I was, so I'm all right. But yeah. And once again, you buy these separately on ASOS. This is the last one from ASOS. This one, um, I feel like you need a black bathing suit for if you're going on vacation. You just need a black one. Just you just need one. Black is sexy. It's forgiving, and it looks good on everyone. Tops on this one. The top on this one. Um, it has a bow detail right in the front. The cup size is is like, it has a lot of coverage on this one. The size I got is a US 32i. Yeah, it has a, the cut up lace up detail on the waist part of these and I'm pretty sure this is a size 8. It says a UK size 12 and it's high waisted. Now this one, what a mercy. This is one of the first bathing suits I got and definitely it was a big mistake. Never wore it just because the boot part is so, there's nothing to it. Like it has no coverage for me. None. No coverage. The color is really pretty but it just covers nothing so I'm not sure if I'm gonna show the the try on portion of this one we'll see if it's not too much I will um, uh, and I got this from AMI club wear they have really really nice bathing suits if you have small did this it has the boob cutouts right here it has the side cut out right here the whole back is out um, it's kind of it does hide your belly button and whatnot so you can kind of hide your stomach with it and then it has the halter top to right, now my last bathing suit is one of my favorites I got it from I just randomly was like searching for like you know um, bathing suits for people with larger busts or whatever and I got this one from I found a site called I found a site called fig leaves and this is the bathing suit. The name of the bathing suit is called the Freya bathing suit. And what I fell in love with most with this is the, the color. So, so cute. And this is another one where you buy them separately. They actually had different variations of tops you could do. So the top is, it has a lot of coverage in that boob, honey. Like this one is probably has the most coverage. Like, and the size is a US, US 32i. The padding is very minimal, which I enjoy. And it kind of does that little, like that Madonna poking out at the boob, the thing. But I don't mind that at all. The material is really good. It's thick, um, so it's durable and it will last you the it has the underwire in it so it has great support it has like the black trimming design so i really really like this one the bottoms the bottoms are high waist i have a size medium or the the bottoms are just a little bit snug for some for whatever reason they're snug on me very comfortable too all right guys so that's the end of my vacation try on haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video what was your favorite bathing suit and what was your favorite like outfit uh leave it down below in the, in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one be sure to follow me on all of my social media check the the upper right hand corner for videos you may have missed see you guys in the next one I think I'd lie for you I think I'd die for you Joe, does he cry for you? Do things